Hello everybody, I'm Colleen Ballinger and I'm so excited for this video! So basically, I recently did a video where I tried out nostalgic 90s toys. I'm a 90s kid. However... I'm kind of more a 2000s kid. And when I did that video, a bunch of people were like, you should do this for the 2000s and... I got you. I was like a kid in the 90s, okay? But my prime time was the 2000s. That's when I was a teenager. That's when I was growing up and becoming who I am and figuring out my emotions. So this is my jam. I love the 2000s. And so I bought a bunch of nostalgic things for me from the 2000s, the early 2000s. And we're gonna try them out. There's some toys, there's some makeup, there's some clothes, there's some crafts. There's all types of fun things. We have a lot to cover in this video. Let's get started. The first item we're gonna play with today is a Bratz doll. I never had one of these. I um, was not allowed to because they are called Bratz and that was a bad word in my conservative home. Um, but also it was just not our jam. Like my mom got me Barbies. I also was kind of like out of the age range of these by the time um, they came out. So I was like probably early teens years when Bratz started happening. But I love Barbies and I loved American Girl dolls. But these were all the rage. In fact, this was kind of expensive. I never had a Bratz doll. I've never even seen one up close in person. And um, I am shook it. Are those handcuffs? Oh no, it's a compact. It looks like handcuffs. Am I crazy? Like, anyway. I'm a little confused because I know I bought a brunette Bratz doll because I was hoping to get some use out of it since it was $50. So I thought after this video was done, obviously I'm never gonna play with the Bratz doll again, but I could put it in my Miranda office and I thought I could turn it into Miranda when I was done, but this has blonde hair. So they didn't even send me the one that I paid for, which is kind of annoying. But we're gonna open it up and we're gonna play with this with Flynn to see if he likes it. Flynn's not really a doll kind of kid. Um, he's more of a truck kind of kid. Who knows, maybe he'll like her. She seems very like confident. She loves makeup. You can just tell she's like body positive. She has a, oh my God. She has an, a secondary outfit here. My conservative raised mind can only describe this as like, like a kinky, provocative. I'm trying to avoid words that could get this video deleted, but like very um, sensual, but add an X in that word, if you know what I'm saying. Fishnet black clothes, but with a little bit of like leather studded ripped clothes on top of the uh, fishnets. I am shocked. Okay, we're gonna go play with this with my two-year-old. Oh my goodness. It's a brat doll. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't, I will never understand kids packaging. Like why do they make it so impossible to open stuff for kids? Like this is insane. Like this is gonna take me 20 minutes to get into. One minute later. I was trying to get the plastic part off of her arm and her arm came off, so that's really cool. Okay, so this is the outfit she came in. Let's get to the next outfit. I really don't understand how there is this, this thing will not come out of her hair. I don't understand. The thing about this that's really strange to me is that a Barbie, you like change the Barbie's clothes, but you don't have to take their body parts apart like Dexter in order to get new clothes on. You have to rip off her body parts, like her feet and her arms in order to dress her and undress her, which is very strange. I'm gonna put on the other outfit and then we'll see what the boys think. Oh my God, that took so long and I'm not kidding when I say I'm sweating. Okay, first of all, this is the outfit. Lovey, I need you to look at this. He hasn't seen it yet. This is the outfit she came with. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I mean, yes. It was so hard to get the clothes on and the pants don't even go up all the way. So it's like, uh... Flynn, what do you think of this? Can you give her a hug? He wants nothing to do with this. You won't even give her a hug? How about a high five? Yay! Do you like her? Yeah. What's her name? Girl. Girl. Her name is Girl. Hi, Girl! Next up, we have these, which I don't think are from the 2000s, but that's when I played with these. These are balloonies. They're basically bubbles that you blow that don't really pop, like you can hold them and play with them. I think Flynn's gonna love these. I feel like these are probably toys from like the 60s or 70s. Like, I feel like this is a very old school toy, but this is very nostalgic for me for the 2000s. I love these. Okay, Flynn, are you ready? Yes! Whoa! These are called balloonies. It's little balloons that you can pop. Do you wanna play with them? Yeah. Okay, what color do you want? Red. Red? Okay. Okay, so you take this goo no, no, no. and you put a ball no. of it. A ball of it on the end. You gotta squish it on. Okay, ready, Flynn? You wanna see this? Yeah. Oh, darn oh, amazing. But you know this happens. This is the it's part of the process. Yeah. Look at that. 
<laughs> what do you think of that? Is that crazy? Do you want more? No, I did like it. <laughs> the next toy I am pretty sure is from the 90s, but when I searched most popular 2000s toys, this came up a lot. It's the Tickle Me Elmo. I never had this. It was impossible to get when I was a kid. I remember at Christmas time, parents would like stampede over each other to buy this for Christmas for their kids. And the crowd yelled, there's the Elmos and they rushed us. Um, I've never seen it in person that I know of, and I've never played with it, so I'm excited to see if Flynn likes it. Okay, watch Flynn. You squeeze it. I actually don't even really know what to do. <laughs> you tickle him, he's ticklish. He's like, he's like, he's like, tickle. Oh, tickle him. <laughs> tickle attack. <laughs> he's laughing, it's funny. Do you want to hold him? No. What color is he? Flynn is not a fan. What? Flynn's not a fan of Tickle Me Elmo, but I guess you just squeeze his feet and he just his feet or his tummy? Oh, his tummy. And he shakes, like vibrates. No? Don't like it? No. Okay, next. Let's do different. Yeah, a different one. Okay. Next up, I'm so excited. It's Lisa Frank stuff. I loved Lisa Frank. Again, I feel like Lisa Frank was 90s as well, but the 2000s is when it was my jam. So I had Lisa Frank binders and folders and backpacks and clothes. I love Lisa Frank. And so I just got a couple little things. I got a sticker pad and like, uh, I guess this is another sticker pad, but it comes with stationary stuff as well. This was something else that was like trendy and popular. Now the kids watching are gonna have to tell me if like fun, funky pens and pencils are still in. Cause when I was a kid, I had like koosh balls on the tops of my pencils. I had fluffy feathers on the tops of my pencils pencils in school and I had these liquid pens which were really fun so let's try these out with all the other fun Lisa Frank stuff oh my gosh Flynn look at this sticker book <gasps> he doesn't care I care look at it look at it is Coco I see I loved Lisa Frank of course I you swear. did whoa so many stickers <laughs> when it comes with little markers too Flynn do you want a color yes We've got the classic kitty cats. You guys, I hate stickers, and the fact that I'm like even willing to play with these is, that just shows how much I love Lisa Frank. Flynn, which one do you want? Oh, the Whoa. aliens. Oh, this brings the back aliens. so many memories. Look at these classics. <laughs> you want the panda, the tiger, the aliens, the unicorn, the doggies. Which unicorn? one? Unicorn. You want the unicorn? Ooh, good That's choice. my boy. Unicorn. Unicorn. Basically, this whole pack is just like a billion stickers. I mean, they have all the classic Lisa Frank things. Things. This would have been my favorite sticker by far. Purple sparkly kitty cat. This is my jam. And look at the sticker pad is like all colorful too. I just love Lisa Frank. My son ran away. He's not interested at all, but I'm really happy about this purchase. Liquid pins. Whoa. Cool. These are so cool. Oh, this one. Okay. Check it out. Are you? Check it out. Check it out. These are so cool. Whoa. Cool pens. Cool pens. Mm. Why are you making that sound? I said to open this. Here, it's open. You can color with it now. Look, Flynn. Right here. You can color with it. Just to color it. Pretty cool. Good coloring. I mean, they're pretty good pens. And a red one. Uh, Coco right has it. Look, baby. Look what it does. Pretty cool, huh? So cool, beautiful drawing. It was hard to find toys uh, that were popular in the 2000s because the early 2000s is when the digital age started to happen. So we started to use Wi-Fi and computers and cell phones and video games. All that stuff was getting really, really, really popular. So the most popular items in the early 2000s were like iPods and Game Boys and just video game techie stuff, which is not what I was into. So I didn't get any of that stuff because that wasn't really my jam. And also you guys know what that stuff is. Like we still have all of it today. It's just a fancier version. But my version of entertainment in the 2000s was 
Mad Libs. Me and my friends would do Mad Libs and laugh hysterically thinking like it was the funniest thing in the whole world and it's actually really, really dumb. So let's go do this with Corey right now and see how funny it is. All right, so this was how we found fun back in the day. There's amusement parks, Tarzan Hi. Island. This is where people find out how dumb I am because I was like, what's the same. <laughs> History of a famous invention. So basically you just ask your friends for different like nouns, adjectives, whatever. So first is a noun, so it's a person, place, a thing. Okay. Oh, I say yeah. hot dog. Ooh, adjective. An adjective is like a beautiful, sexy, oh, okay. weird, slimy. Crusty. Like a famous person. Miranda Sings. Ooh, another famous person, Lizzie McGuire. Another noun, a person, place, or thing. Caterpillar. Plural noun. Balls. Okay. <laughs> I know. I didn't know what that's the first thing in my head. Because you're a homosexual. No. Exclamation. Holy smoke. A noun. Velour mm. tracksuit. Yes. Adjective. Soggy. Is that an expert? Yes, that's a good one. Oh, there's a lot of these. Okay, we're gonna finish filling this out and then we'll read you the story. Okay. All right, here's our crazy story. The first electric hot dog was invented in 1904 by a crusty young man named Miranda Sings. <laughs> <laughs> he and his brother, Lizzie McGuire, what? ran a small caterpillar repair shop, and in their spare time, they studied balls. <laughs> Why did this work? I don't know. When they started work on their invention, everyone said, holy smoke, you'll never get it off the velour tracksuit. But they built a soggy model out of old toes and used a Lisa Frank sticker. Okay. The model worked fine, and in 10 minutes, it toasted 24 slices of churros. It also used up two gallons of diarrhea an hour, and the top converted into a kitty cat. They sold the patent to a luscious millionaire for two dollars and lived horribly ever after. It worked! That was good! A very hot ticket item in the 2000s was this bad boy. That's right, I got a Razor scooter. Now when I got this, I think I was like 12 or 13 when my mom got me one of these, and it was such a big deal. First of all, they only had a few colors when I was a little kid when they first came out, but also they were so hard to get. Everyone wanted them and they were like $100. I feel like they were super expensive. This was like 20 bucks. I can't believe this decreased in value over time, probably because it's a death trap and this hits your shin and bruises it terribly. But Flynn actually saw this when it arrived at our house and has been begging to play with it. So let's go see what he thinks of it once we open it up. Da, 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 da. He has seen this from afar. We've been wanting to play with this one. So now we open it up. Oh my gosh. Should we go ride it? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna go ride it. Before Flynn rides it, I need to test it out. So obviously this thing. Yeah, come here, you're gonna watch Mama do it, then it's your turn. Come here. You ready? You wanna see how it works? Mama's gonna show you. Whoa! Speaker! Speaker! Baby's turn? Yeah! Okay. Obviously, he cannot ride this alone. Your baby's gonna ride it. Mommy has to hold it while baby rides it, or it will fall down. So come here, baby. Come stand on. I'm gonna hold it to protect you. Good job. And now I'm gonna hold on to you. Whoa! What do you think? Whoa. This thing is so dangerous. I can't believe we all have this. Do you want to get on it? <laughs> you bring it over. Flynn thinks this is trash and he's kind of correct and he'd rather ride his bike. So you ride your bike and I'll ride this, okay? Woo! Oh, get off! Oh, get off, Mama. Get off of it? Yeah. Okay, Flynn wants me to be done with it, so. We're moving on. So because I wasn't a little kid during the 2000s, my favorite part about the 2000s wasn't necessarily the toys, it was the fashion. This was my era, my time to thrive. This was the era of dresses over jeans. This was the era of hideous strappy heels. The era of crimped hair, but also straight, but also maybe has a couple curls as well. Thank you, Lizzie McGuire, for the inspiration. So this video would not be complete if I just did toys from the 2000s. We had to go full on. Let's look like the 2000s right now. <gasps>
So, this is what dreams are made of. Let's live out my dreams and turn me into a 2000s girl. Now, Silly Bands actually sent to Ori this amazing packet of Silly Bands, but these were all the freaking range. I loved jelly, bracelets, any sort of sparkly. Just, I had a wrist full of just Silly Bands and sparkly bands and any kind of band that was colorful went on my wrist. So, Silly Bands are all shapes and sizes. These are new though, these are fancy. So, these are dinosaurs. So, basically, when they're not on your wrist, they look like an animal. Animal, and then when you're on your wrist, they just look like a, little, like a little bracelet. Oh my God, there's Kardashian glam. What even does that mean? Okay, well, I'm gonna go with the Hollywood pack. Okay, so this one is a palm tree, but then you put it on and it's like, oh no, it's just like a cute little bracelet that gets stuck to your arm hair and pulls it off. This one is, is this an intestine? I don't know what this is. I think this might be the large intestine. I'm not quite sure. Oh, I just cut my hand. Oh gosh, I'm bleeding. Is that weird that I just sucked that? If you're like, if you get a cut, like, and you start bleeding, do you like, am I a total weirdo? Is that like really vampire-y of me? Like is Edward Cullen shaking? So we got the bracelets. The next, of course, is the clothes. Now I got two outfits because I just couldn't pick. The first one is the classic 2000 outfit. Everyone had this. Everyone had this. I didn't because we couldn't afford it, but I didn't get the original one today. I just got a knockoff one I found on Amazon, but it's like the velour tracksuit, you guys. Everyone had this. Most people had the one that said like juicy on the butt, like the juicy tracksuit for real bleeding a lot. Literally, if you did not have this, you were not cool. So I was not cool because I never had it. This is my first like for real velour tracksuit. Even though it's not from Juicy, I feel like I should have gotten the one from Juicy, but okay. Let's try it on, I'm so excited. Oh, I feel like the mom and Mean Girls. She's not a regular mom, she's a cool mom. That's what I feel like right now, but I also feel like everyone who bullied me in high school. The pants are so low. <laughs> I feel like you're gonna see my underwear, but like, look how low they go. Like it was all about the hip dip. The skinny girls in high school, they all had like the hip dip, but like still had a muffin top somehow, even if they only weighed 80 pounds because all of our pants were too low and too tight. What do we think? Do we love? It's actually like extremely comfortable and I kind of understand why we all wore them, but. This was the jam. Everyone had these, everyone wore these. And we also, oh, these are Velcro pockets? Oh, they're actually pockets though. Usually it was just like a little flappy do that didn't do anything because girls' pants typically have useless pockets. I'm feeling really confident in this. I'm feeling really good, but we have more stuff to look at. So let's continue on with the video. Now this next outfit is closer to something that I would wear. Unfortunately, low rise jeans were all the rage. So I got the lowest low rise that I could find, but these don't even look that low rise. They don't look low rise at all to me. Like I. I feel like you need to get as close to showing off the bits as possible. Like that's how low rise we wanted them. I remember going to American Eagle in high school and being like, where's the ultra extreme low rise? I wanted it so low that like, I basically didn't need to take off my pants to go pee. That's how low we liked our pants in the 2000s. So this is the lowest I could find on Amazon and they don't even look that low. I don't know if they're gonna fit me, but unfortunately, <sighs> Gen Z's trying to bring these back. I just have to say, wear whatever you want, wear whatever makes you feel comfortable and confident in your body. But I do blame ultra low rise jeans in the early 2000s for the start of many body dysmorphia issues for girls in the future. Like, I'm not gonna get into that. That's not what this video is about. But basically, um, these caused a lot of issues for a lot of us. And so the fact that they're coming back into style is a little terrifying to me. Um, and you will never see me wearing low rise jeans except for in this video. Now I obviously need a shirt to go with these pants. You are not gonna believe me, but these were really popular. This is called a popcorn shirt. So basically you can get these at like a drugstore in like a basket and they look like it looks like popcorn and they're one size fits all apparently and they stretch into a very ugly disgusting shirt i'm very excited to try this on i had one of these when i was a teenager so let's let's do it now i obviously need um shoes what was in style back then was like the chunky black flip-flop i never had those i wasn't allowed to have like chunky shoes for some reason but i did have these and these were very popular back in the day they're like these little slippers with like sparkly flowers on them that are like mesh. I don't really know why we loved these, but we loved these and we wore these a lot. These are gonna be my shoes for the outfit. I couldn't decide between butterfly clips, which were very popular in the 2000s, and this weird corduroy like train conductor style hat. I had a lot of these. Oh my gosh, this is so 2000s. Oh my God, you guys, I'm like, Thank you. I think I'm gonna do the butterfly clips because obviously my hair needs to look really good. In order to make my hair look 2000s, we gotta go full Lizzie McGuire. 
which is why I bought the Con Air straightener crimper thing. I had a version of this. It comes with these like little plates that slide in and out of the straightener and you can put in a big thick crimper or a little tiny thin crimper or you can straighten your hair. So it's all in one and it's like 20 bucks. I totally had this. But back then it was like the style to do like a little bit of crimped hair and a little bit of straight hair and a little bit of curly hair and you kind of did like all in one. Or you'd like curl the top half of your hair but not the bottom half of your hair. That was very like Mary Kate and Ashley. So we're gonna style my hair with a crimper. I'm just gonna crimp a few little pieces and put in some butterfly clips. It'll be glorious. But don't think I'm stopping there. I gotta wear some makeup, you know? Makeup was pretty minimal back then. We all plucked our eyebrows out completely. We just had like the thinnest little line of eyebrow, which sucks because now it's popular to have like bushy, beautiful, big eyebrows, all natural. But anyone who grew up in the early 2000s in high school, like we ripped all of our eyebrow hairs out and they never grew back. So we all have sparse, weird eyebrows now that don't look good for the current fashion. But we plucked out our eyebrows. Um, people would wear like maybe mascara, not really foundation. Like I feel like makeup just wasn't like really a big deal. Maybe just like one color of eyeshadow, like a light, pretty color, like a light blue or a light pink. But what was really popular in the 2000s was glitter. So I had some glitter gloss, which I had so much glitter gloss growing up. And this was a big thing. Body glitter. So we all had this like rolly goo of glitter. And I'm telling you every homecoming, every prom, not that I ever went to one because I was never invited. <clears throat> But all the girls would wear like their cute prom dresses and they would take this and just be like, yes, I want to sparkle like Edward Cullen in the sunlight. <gasps> and um, that is what everyone did. So I've got my body glitter. I've got my lip gloss. I'm not going to pluck out my eyebrows, but just imagine that I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to put on this outfit for the final reveal of my 2000s video. Um, let's get to it. <sighs> Swelling. My camera's rolling. Okay, so far I only have on the shirt and the pants, but oh my gosh, Lizzie McGuire is shaking. So I need to put on the shoes. I just feel like you guys can't see the full outfit. Hold on. Okay, the flares are giving me flashbacks of high school. Oh my gosh, these look like a load ago. So Cute. Okay, so I'll do my hair. But first, let's do the makeup. Okay, so I've right now I have makeup on from like the day, so that's good because it's basically like no makeup. You have butterfly clips that you put in your hair. I still need to do my hair with this thing. Let's try on this lip gloss. So sparkly, guys. Ugh. Oh. That's a lot of glitter. You can't even really see it, but I can feel it. And some got in my mouth just now and it was very crunchy. And we can't forget the rolly glitter. I'm gonna put on my arms. <gasps> Oh yes, you guys have to see this. Look at the glitter. You guys, she is sparkling in the moonlight. Come on. Like, you know how highlighter like got really popular? Luckily that's going away because like I've never been into like the highlighter thing that everyone was obsessed with because I just think it makes you look sweaty. But like us kids who thrived in the early 2000s, we invented highlighter. It's literally just glitter. Like it just makes you look wet. My arm is now wet and glittery and that's gross. But that is the look. But usually we'd like put it right here, but since the shirt goes so high, you can't see it, but normally you put it like on your chest, be like. <gasps> Are you looking near my cleavage? Um, yes, I have glitter on my chest, but why are you looking there? Anyway, let's do my hair. I'm just gonna crimp a couple of pieces because I wanna look like Lizzie McGuire. So I'm gonna go for the very thin crimp. These should slide off. <gasps> oh my gosh. You guys, this is iconic. It's on. I'm gonna go plug this in and crimp some pieces of my hair, put in some butterfly clips, and then we will officially have the final look of the day. Oh my God, guys, I am living. Here she is, superstar. I am so 2000s. Look at that crimp. It's subtle, but it's beautiful. We've got the butterfly clips. We've got another crimp on this side. Can you guys see my crimpage? Just a little, you don't want a lot. Just like the essence of a crimp. Mostly you want your hair like to be curly and parts of it need to be straight with the butterfly clips and like a few chunks, you know? I'm living for it. The glitter in this lip gloss is so chunk. 
we love her, um, but I'm exhausted and I wanna go to bed. So I'm gonna be done with this video now. I had a lot of fun um, exploring my early 2000s, but I want not to be wearing this now, so I'm going to take it off. So there you go, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want me to do this with the 80s, with the 70s, I don't know. What era do you want me to do? Do you like these or are you over this? Should we do something else now? I don't know, you tell me. I love you all so much, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment and do all the things you're supposed to do. It really helps me out a lot, even if you just comment like, so. Just comment anything. Just if you like, just push the little like button once. Like, you just feel like that takes like not even a full second for you, but like, it like actually does help me. So, do that if you're feeling so inclined. I love you all so much. I'm gonna go play with this stuff and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye! You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.